is up fam i am back and it's taken long enough wedding season ended for me i got sick for more than two weeks been finalizing projects for clients been doing a lot more video projects and stuff like that commercial projects and it's just been taking up a lot of my time but i am here hopefully for good so today we're going to talk about natural light photography and i built my career off of natural light photography i never used any modifiers any diffuser diffusions um you know i wasn't out there with a on-camera flash for filling light or anything like that stuff that i utilize today off-camera flash but for my first I have to say that my first three, four years of photography was mainly using natural light. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about my number one hack. I don't hack. My number one piece of advice when shooting natural light photography that works best in an urban environment. Urban environment meaning that you are shooting in a city, buildings, landscapes, especially these higher rise corporate buildings, I like to call them, that have lots of windows because with windows, you get reflective lighting. Reflective lighting is when it's a sunny day outside and the sun is angled at a building and the light is coming from the sun, hitting the building and reflecting off that building to a section of the city. Why do I like this kind of lighting? Because direct sunlight is going to be too harsh. I do enjoy shooting in direct sunlight for particular things, but when you want that soft, perfect lighting look, reflective lighting is going to help you do that. Make sure you're getting out there at the right time to use that kind of lighting. You have to do some location scouting, or if you're visiting a new spot, if you're traveling or something, I would try and pick the mid parts of the day. So like 10, 11 a.m. to like 3 p.m.-ish is when you're gonna get the best reflective lighting. So I shot these photos with the Sony a7 IV. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I love this camera. It's a fantastic camera if you're looking for a hybrid camera something that shoots good photos and good video definitely definitely look at the a7 IV um, I've been using it a lot commercial work creative work um, I'm filming with it right now anywho I was using the a7 IV and I was using two lenses that I was going back and forth with the uh, Sigma 24 millimeter art lens love that lens love that focal length and the Sigma 50 millimeter art lens 1.4 which is probably my most utilized lens it's one of my favorite portrait lenses one of my favorite all-around lenses the thing that I want you to understand is when looking for reflective lighting if you're doing a paid shoot with a client you want to make sure that you have that client understand the reality of the nature of the shoot you have to communicate and tell them like hey we need to chase good lighting I don't know where the sun is gonna hit in what particular way so we are gonna be doing a little bit of walking try and stay within a radius of a block or two but you're gonna get fantastic photos I promise you and this is this is fun it's fun to go and chase and be creative creative chase different backdrops chase the light so to speak and you end up with some really really cool photos one thing I really 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 love about natural light and using reflective lighting is being able to play with the shadows so I took my client uh, Sade to this um, alleyway where I saw I, we were just walking by it and I saw a like some sunlight just peeking through it I placed her just uh, in between the uh, shadow and the sunlight and got some amazing shots. These are probably my favorite shots of the shoot. They spoke like Vogue vibes to me. They reflect my style of shooting. Not too moody, not too bright, just the right amount of contrast and um, a little bit of desaturation on the colors. Now for these photos, this is what you would classify as good balance of lighting. So the light was reflective, but it wasn't reflective in a certain area, like the shadow plate photos that I just showed you. It was giving me a balanced light, but still giving me some contrast on her right side, so the left side of the frame. So it was creating some depth. She was wearing white and um, using a white background with a white outfit is usually a no-no, but it worked in this situation because we had, you know, the ground was cement and the uh, 
the wall above the garage was uh, also the same color. So I felt like it gave it a good contrast, but this is what you get when you get some nice reflective lighting that's evened out in a, in a bigger area. For these shots right here, there was very, very little lighting reflecting off of one of the buildings across the street. I liked that because as you can see in the pathway, there's backlighting coming through that little doorway. I was able to use the little bit of reflective lighting that was illuminating my subject and using that backlighting to create a really, really cool, moody, contrasty scene. Just enough of filling light on her and then that backlighting is helping her be separated from the background. And for most of these shoots, I do use an ND filter because I like to use a lower shutter speed. I like my portraits to have a softer feel to them, especially with these higher megapixel cameras. I want things to be a little bit softer, not so detailed and sharp all the time. This is one of my main things that I keep in mind when I'm going to a shoot that I am utilizing natural light in. It is the most underutilized tool, but probably one of the best tools because it's going to one, make you go find the reflective lighting and you're gonna have different backdrops because once you're done with one area, you can move on to another area. You're gonna have a variety in that set. So she had the same outfit, but we had a bunch of different backdrops and locations and it made for a good variety of, of photos if you guys would like more tips on natural light photography you want me to go ahead and just include it all in one video comment below let me know if you enjoyed this please consider subscribing to me i'm going to talk a lot about photography videography how to run a good photography business how to get clients obtain clients for video all that good stuff like and subscribe um, ring that doorbell is it a doorbell, the notification bell, whatever that is, press it. That way, every time I upload something, you get a notification and, uh, and we can chat in the comment section below. Thank you guys. See you on the next one.